what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the best free 97 overall obsidian champions to upgrade and the best abilities to use on your mutt 24 squad now you can actually get all five of these cards for free they're going to start at a 94 overall you have a series of objectives that you need to complete and eventually you can upgrade these cards to a 97 overall let's talk about how you get the 94s Four of those five players are going to be found within the solo challenges. This is a one-part promo, so you can get all of this today if you really want to. The most important thing about these cards is they get two zero AP abilities. The attributes on them, not the greatest, but if you maybe just picked up the game recently, whether you took a long hiatus off of it, or you just got the game for the first time and you're playing it, it is a pretty good starting point to build your team. If you already got the God Squad or a fairly established team, these cards aren't really going to be for you. So if you go to the Crucible 4, Four solos you're going to see at tier two which is only 20 stars you're going to get your first 94 overall fantasy pack so that's going to be the only one that's in this section of solos you're going to get three more of them in the obsidian challenges solo section if you look at those milestone rewards you get one very early on you can easily get this right now uh, so this is going to be pack number two at tier three you're going to get pack number three and then at tier five you're going to get pack number four so we're now at four of the five potential players that you can get at a 94 overall all, and they'll all go to a 97 for free the fifth 94 overall fantasy pack is actually going to be found within the field pass for the crucible promo and this is also where you're going to find the objectives that you need to knock out to upgrade these players you're going to earn tokens and then that's how you upgrade the players so if you go into the field pass rewards again very early on level three you're going to get the 94 overall fantasy pack so again all five packs four in solos one in the field pass once you get those players once you unlock the pack you want to make sure you put those players in your lineup right away because you need to complete certain objectives with them in your lineup to get the upgrade tokens and if you go over the obsidian players tab this is where you're going to find them now there was a little confusion on my part but i figured it out we kind of played through the harold landry section of this after i unlocked the very first pack basically what happens is you get an initial objective and in this case for harold landry it's going to be getting 15 tackles in either head-to-head -head or solo battles with that landry card in your lineup you can hide them at right outside linebacker number two if you want you can make them a start or whatever so i played a solo battle game knocked it out very quickly i got one upgrade token you need four of those tokens to take the player from a 94 to a 97 so i'm assuming one goes to 95 another token goes to 96 the third goes to 97 and maybe the fourth token we'll take a look at the upgrade path in a moment uh gives you the extra discounted ability bucket so once i knocked that out that first objective i got the the token it unlocks the next objective and if you read the description this one says force four fumbles in head-to-head -head or solo battles with crucible harold landry on your team completing this will unlock the next objective for harold landry so it looks like every player is going to have four objectives and you're going to get a token each and every time and once you knock out the first objective it unlocks the next and then when you do that one it unlocks the next one until you get all four of them done so that's why i say put those players in your lineup right away so if we go over to the landry just like any card that you're going to power up you're going to go over to the upgrade tab it's going to cost you that initial five training to unlock the first step uh the first token and notice that it says harold landry the third upgrade token one of four so there's four tokens for each individual player that is now going to bump him up to a 95 overall as you earn those tokens the next one goes to a 96 the next one brings him to a 97 and then the final last one does give him those extra discounted ability buckets so you're not going to get access to those until you fully max out the player i want to show you all five of the cards fully upgraded so you can see their attributes at a 97 overall if i'm being honest again if you recently got the game these cards are fine if you haven't if you have an established squad you're going to look at all of these cards and say that they're absolutely trash and listen i won't go against you i have a no money spent squad that's the account that we're on right now and on this team i don't really see a reason to use any of these cards on my team that's no money spent um, but the purpose of this video is number one to show you everything that you need to do to unlock these cards and there are some objectives within in the field pass that you need to complete outside of the objectives to upgrade the player 
course, um, to actually max out the field pass. So you're going to have to do some of this anyway. Now, I want to go through all of the abilities on these players and talk about the best abilities to use on them, because I think the best part about them, especially this late in the year, it's definitely abilities over attributes. These cards don't look great with the 2-0 AP abilities. They can be a little bit more usable for some of you. So for Harold Landry, like I don't like his attributes that much, but he does get a pretty good setup for abilities. What I would recommend is Tackle Supreme in the one bucket and then Edge Threat Elite in the other bucket. Both of those for zero. Tackle Supreme is going to be great against all of the angry runs running backs that are out there. Edge Threat Elite is probably the best pass rush ability that he has access to. Also, if you want to skip Edge Threat Elite and go with a uh, zero AP film study, this will definitely help you out on defense. If you struggle there, you get to see for the most part when your opponent is running the same play over and over and over again, you're going to be able to see what that play is when they run it again after it activates. And there's a handful of cards that get this for zero, but there's not a ton. And for a card that's very easily obtainable to get this for zero AP, it might be worth it. But I really do like the Tackle Supreme on there just because of all the Angry Runs players. Uh, Cole Komet, not really. Like, he's got 80 run blocks, so if you need a backup tight end and you're looking for a guy who has a decent run block, this is a good free card. Maybe you have a uh, three or two tight end set that you run a certain running play out of. He might be good. I'd probably just recommend, like, short and elite for one of the abilities. Uh, if you don't have a Hot Rot Master or Master Tactician, you can go Slot Apprentice, and he has Tight End Apprentice available on there as well. Otherwise, I'm not a fan of many of these. You can go Bruiser or Tank for after the catch. slot -o -matic might not be bad as well, but I definitely recommend Short and Elite on this card as one of the two zero AP abilities that you rock with. Javon Holland, if he was a little bit faster maxed out, this would be a pretty good card. As far as abilities go, if you're going to user him and have him at sub linebacker, you might want to go like mid zone KO for one of the discounted abilities and Acrobat for the other. Um, just so you guys know, he cannot get Tackle Supreme, unfortunately. If you are going to play him in coverage, he does get deep out zone KO. No pick artist discount on here. You could go like mid zone KO and deep out zone KO together if you run a heavy zone scheme. If you run a lot of man, he's got the deep route KO, short route KO, etc. And he is also another player that will give you film study for zero AP. But I think they missed the mark on this one because he gets no secure tackler discount, no tackle supreme discount, and most importantly, no pick artist discount is the biggest L on that card. So that one had potential, but it kind of lost it. There's just way too many good running backs that are not overly expensive in the game to have this card as your primary running back. And as you can see, these cards don't get any type of pre-lit or lighted up X factors or charge up X factors. So all you really have is abilities. Definitely recommend going evasive for one of the two zero AP abilities. The other one's up to you. Short and elite or human joystick would probably be my second best choices, second and third best choices for the Kenneth Walker. And then finally, we finish out with Bryce Young, which actually isn't a terrible free quarterback. Again, if you just got the game, you desperately need a QB. He has a traditional five release, which isn't the most amazing in the world, but it's also not terrible. And he gets some pretty good discounts. You can get set feet lead on this card for one AP, and you can also get master tactician on this card for one AP, which is basically playmaker, conductor, and hot route master all rolled in one. One of the better abilities in the game. Uh, that is going to leave you without gunslinger. I haven't tested traditional five without it. I would assume you're probably going to need it and if so you do have that option to pay the 2 AP for it so you can go gunslinger master tactician and set feet lead for a total of 4 AP is he a meta quarterback is he a top 10 quarterback probably not but he might now be the best free quarterback in the game and very very easy to earn so that's how you upgrade the cards that's all five of them and the best ones to upgrade you can upgrade them uh, in your order if I really had to quickly put it in order it'd probably be Harold Landry uh, Bryce Young and and then these three just all kind of stink because they don't have great attributes or abilities uh, that you can take advantage of. Thank you guys for watching another video. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.